If you want to see how we transform this bathroom into a farmhouse coastal bathroom, then follow along. As you can see, there's a nickel towel rack. There's two of them. I do love the window light. It's just a small one above the shower. Uh, the light fixture was replaced. Got a farmhouse style. And the mirror is from Hobby Lobby. That was $99 with 40% off. And this is the vanity. I'm hoping to replace the vanity, and I'm hoping that the tile is actually up under this vanity, so we'll have to check that out. Now, one of the things that bothers me about the shower curtain, this is a 72 by 72 shower curtain, is that they are never long enough. I think there are some, uh, very few to pick from, that actually give you a little bit longer length, but this one does not. So I ordered a valance in the blue ticking to add to that, and I'll do a DIY on that later. The baseboards also did not get painted when we moved in, and I would also like to get this bathroom scrubbed up a little bit. This is the vanity. It's a dark color. It came with the house. And these items are something that I purchased for a bathroom makeover in our last home before we moved. So I'm gonna to try to incorporate these items into the new bathroom. I just love this, this boat oar. I'm putting up the prices. These were all 50% off. And the boat wheel and the boat anchor. And these are the prices that I paid in the shelf. The rug I got from Amazon, everything else you're seeing here was under $10 with the 50% off. This is the valance in the blue ticking that I got to add to the shower curtain to give it the right length. And we'll move into that DIY here shortly. And I almost missed this. This little wall plaque, Mightier Than the Sea, is its love for you. Taking my shower curtain that I took down, the 72 inch by 72 inch shower curtain, and then I have a window valance that is 72 inches wide by 16 inches long. So I want to add the five inches that I need to make this shower curtain hang longer in front of the tub. So finding my fabric piece, my five inch fabric piece that's gonna fit in between there, it can be anything. I have some muslin here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use this. You can use a sheet or you can use coordinating fabric if you want. Now I'm gonna take and Take the uh, valance and lay this over my fabric that I want to cut the 73 inches wide by 6 inches long, allowing a half inch seam allowance on each side and the top and the bottom when I sew this all together. I'm going to go ahead and get that cut out. So I'm just going to go ahead and measure this out for the 73 inches, allotting, again, allotting myself that half inch seam allowance. Now that I have the 73 inches wide cut, I just need to measure the six inches long. And unfortunately, this is the only measuring tape I can find in my house right now. Of course, most of you know, we have just recently moved. So I have to go dig for anything that I need 
uh, for any of my projects, but I was able to uh, find uh, some of my items, especially in the first two boxes I opened. So here I'm just folding and measuring the six inches that I will need, and then I will cut that. Now I'm gonna take this 73 inch by six inch fabric, and on the six inch sides, I'm gonna fold that over, giving about a half inch seam allowance, and take it to the machine and sew it. Even though it's hidden underneath, the edges will sort of show, so you definitely want to uh, get those edges sewn. Next, I'm laying out the full length of the shower curtain. So trying to figure out where I'm gonna cut. I know I'm not, I'm gonna cut just below where the hooks go. So there is a seam right there below the hook. I'm just going to cut across there. Uh, I'm just demonstrating here how that balance is going to be stitched right under that seam. So giving a half inch seam allowance, I'm gonna cut about a half inch down from the hooks. And this has a liner on the back, so I also have to go through uh, the liner as well. So I'm just uh, cutting that away as close to the seam on the back as I can. And you're going to say, oh, no, look at this. <laughs> She's ruined it. <laughs> and it does. It looks like it's ruined. I have uh, cut off the, the piece there. So now I have to put three pieces together. And that is the valance, the 72-inch fabric, 2 by 6 inch fabric, and I'm gonna sandwich all three of these together. Now, you have to make sure that you lay this all out to where it's going to be stitched, sort of facing each other, so that when you go to hang this up, then you're not gonna see any of the the seams sticking out, they're all gonna be hidden. So it's sort of sandwiching them three together, allowing for a half inch a seam, and then I'm gonna take this to the machine and sew it all together. Here's what it looks like so far, guys. Uh, that is the top seam and then the balance. And then on the back side, it has, and I'm measuring here, it has five and a half inches. And that's going to give me another half inch seam. And now I have to put five inch piece of fabric onto the rest of the shower curtain that's been cut off. So I'm gonna sew this all the way across and then I'm gonna go hang it up. In these photos, I'm just sharing with you how I added a valance on the shower curtains. 
in the past when I decorated in the primitive style. So we just got home from Lowe's and we're opening the vanity. This is a new vanity and we found out that it came with two different colored hardware in the brass or you could also get it with the nickel finish. So we fell in love with this when we seen it uh, in the store and lo and behold, it was cracked in two places, everyone. It was so disappointing. So we loaded it back up and took it back to Lowe's and they're gonna have another one ready for us when we get there. And hopefully the next one, I think they're gonna check, check it out before we leave the store with. Okay, what you've all been waiting for is my farmhouse bathroom makeover this is the big reveal i hope you enjoy thanks for watching